Hello, this is Roy from Tesla Owners US and today I'm telling you why it is important to watch your tire pressure. Because I had an incident with my Roadster and my tire busted on the highway I-10. And the story comes after this. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done So I was on the way to training and at the same time my wife was on the way to the veterinarian when we drove down inbound I-10 direction east which is the big highway also in Arizona, not only in California. And we drove and we drove HOV lane and both of us can drive HOV lane because we have a, a, an electric car. And in Arizona you get blue license plate for that and then you are uh, covered 7x24 driving on HOV lane. That's all good. So I'm driving that and then I get a message that's saying now I get a message, a real message, but so I get a message that was saying, oh, your tire pressure is low. And said, oh, how low is it? So I try to look at my phone there because they have an app for the Roadster as well to check the tire pressure. And there must have been a delay on it. It was showing still 25, which is a low pressure. But that was not all what it's supposed to because uh, the tire pressure must have been lower and all of a sudden it did a little bust and then it uh, you hear it, the tire was screeching and then I had to turn left on the left emergency lane. The good thing was my wife was just behind me and I had my karate stuff on, my gi on and so on and I had to leave the roadster in the middle of the highway. and. That's what I did, I put the uh, emergency light on, closed it, and then my wife, I, step, I took my karate yeah, bag, put it in her car and said, hey, there's some, uh, Thomas is coming for cleaning, so he's on the way to us. I called him and said, hey, Thomas, you gotta help, help to help me. So she dropped me in Tempe, where at the same time we got a call from the veterinarian, and we told him that we are later. So I, she dropped me a Tempe, we returned, then we drove on his car towards uh, my car again, towards the Roadster. So we drove out I-10 West, turned around and we got to the Roadster. In the meantime or before that, we bought one of those tire slimes and we had a compressor as well. But you know what? The tire, th then when we arrived there, the tire slime really didn't help. It didn't do anything good. Now, the next thing is what we're gonna do next. Uh, uh, Phoenix police was passing and uh, they were passing me, but the nice thing was a uh, motorcycle policeman stopped. And he said, what can I do, he can help. He stopped first at the car, what we put as a barrier in for Thomas' car. And then later he stopped and, and said, what's going on? And I explained him the story of the flat tire and so on. And then he gave me two choices. He said, you can uh, put it up on the tow truck, but I'm worried about the bullet roads on a tow truck. Or you can try to drive it, and now you drive it, and then you drive it to actually 43rd Avenue exit. So, and we said, I'm gonna stop the highway for you. So what they do in the US is that they're going in slings with the lights on in order to stop the entire highway. 
So in order to keep me safe, and thank you very much for the highway police, especially for this officer, because what he did, he turned around, turned on the, uh, went westbound, turned around, went eastbound, and he stopped, I think it was five or six lanes on I-10. He stopped the whole traffic, went left and right, so that I could take from the left emergency lane always to the right, then went to the exit lane, then he caught up and went behind me on the exit lane, and I very slowly crawled up the exit and did went to a Penske parking lot there. And I barely made it because it was at the end when I went up the hill, the car noticed that there was a problem with the tire and did not allow me to drive that fast. So I went, I crawled up with four miles per hour up the ramp and then turned right and then put the car on the, uh, put the car in a parking lot. At the same night, I also uh, have, an, I have another set of wheels and tires uh, in my shed. So I took that out and exchanged a whole set of wheels and tires on the car. So exchanged it. So my wife drove me with her Model S and a whole set of tires. That's good the Model S for. You can put a whole set of tires in the Model S in the back with all of the tools. I changed the whole tires there and then I drove the car, the road stop, back home. Now I'm on my way to Gruber and said, hey, can you put a new tire on it? So, and I hope they help me there. Usually they always help me because, and the other nice thing was is that Junior Peter Gruber, he saw my car standing at the highway. He called his father, Pete, and his father called me back and said, Rolf, is everything okay? There is a black roadster with yellow signs on the I-10. It must be your car. And it was my car. And I have it basically on service with him <laughs> because I do a lot of movies with them as well. And we, he said, no, we, I think we have it under control. Thank you very much for your call. It was immediately when we went up to the car, he called and I said, thank you for your call. This is customer service. That happened with Tesla before, when one time the battery charger went down, they called me and said, hey, you have a problem with the charger. In this case, <laughs> Pete Gruber personally called me and said, oh, he's a friend of mine as well. He said, you know, uh, what you have to consider is that uh, uh, I, I want to find out if you, if you need some help and we can, uh, can help you here. And that was very nice. So now I'm going up to them, drop that uh, wheel and good, I think that the wheel, the tire is all completely messed up, but the wheel, I show a picture for that one in there as well, but uh, the wheel is not really damaged and that's a good thing. Thank you for calling your dad. It was my roadster. <laughs> you remember, was you called your dad that on the highway on I-10 there is a black roadster with yellow signs. Was it? Uh, yes. Was it you or someone else? It might have been my younger brother. Well, your, and he said, well, uh, you, uh, one of you guys called. Was it your younger brother? I don't know. Someone. Okay, was it on me. you? Wasn't you? No. Because your dad called me at the same day and the tire busted, you know, and I need a new tire. Yeah, so, and we have to check if, if that's running round. And the other thing is, wow. yes, and I had to drive it off the highway, yeah. right, in order to get off the highway because I was on the emergency lane, right? Okay. So we need to put a new tire on it with the same type. You know, the, 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 the threat is still good, you know. Yeah. But you need to check if uh, there was a warranty on that tire. Yeah. All right. Yeah? There should have been with Continental and Michelin, typically. Yeah, there is. I Usually there's a warranty. Do. All right. I'll and I don't on. know. It was losing tire pressure. And then I was on a all the way on left lane. Because the message came up. And then it said, you need to... And I tried to, and then all of a sudden, yeah. 
and now very slowly. Is that the nail? Ah, I think that's that it. is the nail. Good, you found it. Yeah, that's a big nail in wow, here. That leaked out air really quick. Yes. Jeez. And that's then what it looks like is this thing went flat, and then the sidewall just said, "Screw it, I give up." <laughs> yes, it got walked too much. Yes, yeah, so right. you can see right there when they go flat, you get those creases like that in the sidewall. Yes. All right. That's my tire. Sorry about that, there is slime in there as well, but the slime didn't help to pump it up. We no. tried to fix it with slime, but it didn't help. Oh, it doesn't look all that bad, actually. Yeah, and I have something else for you. Look at this. This is an old... No, this one. This is an old heating this element. Heating element. Mm -hmm. And the boards are they got corrosive. So really? you, you could come, you could repair that, and then you have a full new heating element. So I give it to you. I bought one on the internet, mm -hmm. a used one, but I give it to you because the board just got corrosive, and I think if you open that, you can find out and repair that. Okay. Yeah. Let him bring it. Busy here. Look at this. Wow. Oh, look at that yellow one! That's a special color. Yeah. Reminds me of here, it's just the colors are flipped. <laughs> yeah, the colors are flipped. It's a yellow one with a, with a black. Is it, is it an original color? Or is it, yeah? yeah, it's an original one. So I should check it out. It's yeah. like, just like the orange ones. There's a uh, gold metallic in paint. Wow! Look at this guy. It looks good from the underbody. Yes. It's, very it's well. Quite clean. Very well clean and the paint looks good as well. Wow. What did you have to do? Uh, uh, battery. Battery? Yeah. Bricked one, it? One brick. Uh, we're still trying to recover the brick, but we, we've got another one that we're getting ready just in case we can bring this one back. Uh, so you get another unit? Is that an R80? No, it's a regular one, right? Regular. Yeah. yeah, the R80s, they don't like going into reversal or close to reversal. Um, yeah, I mean, even here, we haven't even wiped this down. This is just how clean it was. That looks very clean. So it can't, there should not have any mileage on it, or? Or was it a Sunday yeah, car? It is fairly low. It's, it's very, fairly weekend. low. <laughs> weekend car. Yeah, uh, it's not on the lift anymore, but we had the, uh, have you heard of the Newton car? 581? No. You should what? do a video of that with my dad. Oh yeah? So, 581 was delivered to a gentleman um, and let's see, they promised him a card and they finally sent him one after... You have some packs from the Model S, yeah. yeah. And then uh, when he received it, Tesla realized they made a mistake. He said, oh, I'm sorry, we sent you a car with a uh, experimental motor in it. We're going to need that car back. He said, no, I'm keeping it. We are back here at Gruber Motors and uh, I could have picked up the busted tire a long time ago but now I'm going to do it now. So let's see what's what it is and I think uh, I'm confident they have easily replaced it. Yeah, I'm already sitting here the next day and here's the wheel. They put it on our trunk from the Model S and all nice and fine. Even they put the wheel bands on top of it, right? That's for, this are like custom wheels. So it's a big day for wheel change and I try to do it on the time lapse and let's see how good that comes over. So we're gonna change in the four wheels back from the standard wheels from the Roadster to the regular one. And I might do also the Model S here because when you look at this car, over here you see the rear tires on the Model S are also worn out in the back and especially also from the inside because there is a chamber on it and that needs to be corrected as well. So I'm gonna change the tires of this one as well, actually the whole wheels of this Model S. And then as you see here, these are my custom wheels on the Model S and I'm gonna put the regular fan wheels, how the original car came on it as well. So two cars, <laughs> maybe three cars changing all four wheels. 
let's see how that turns out. Okay, my service garage and all the wheels are lined up here where they belong to. And here's the compressor here and there is the car jack and here's my supercharger but also the wheel and they're all wheel. Now get changed in work clothes and get to work. So the last step is actually going to do this tire monitor 30 40 psi this is front and rear okay you don't want to switch that that's more tougher setting and then from here uh what was it new tires yes Regen will be disabled for briefly to learn the new tire size. Then you can say yes and continue. And you have to run with, without regen for a while. And then it's been set. So that's just how about changing a tire. So what it is, coast in a straight line, 20 to 60 miles per hour for 10 seconds. That's what we want to do. Alright, so that's about watch your tire pressure. So if you like that, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, thumbs up. Talk to you the next time. Bye bye.